Hey everyone, welcome uh, back to Groove at Night. We were uh, last week, we uh, actually had the last day, but just a moment, I guess. Back. Okay. A couple of technical things here. Yeah. Okay, we've got that one sorted. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, it looks like I had me uh, also on the other one of the other tabs, so I've actually gone out of that on the YouTube one. Uh, welcome back. Uh, we decided to uh, carry on with the Groove at Night when it comes to the Groove.ai. I um, we'll just want to have a look in the comments here. I'm Peter Moynero, uh, so uh, I'm, I'm with here today with a special guest. Well, actually everybody knows him that's nicholas mcintosh and i'll be uh, getting them on very shortly uh, but i'm having a look in the comments there and i see tyra uh, tyra from the usa welcome tyra thanks for being being there i know you're one of my number one fans <laughs> michelle uh, all the way from sydney australia glad to have you here too as well michelle and john Corf. john uh hello i made it great i'm glad you made it and dr lisa uh, from uh, from Baltimore, Maryland, and uh, the USA. Thank you for being here, and uh, welcome. So this is all about Groove.ai. As you know, we're counting down uh, to to uh, when we get access to Groove.ai. Now, of course, if you're a backer, you will be uh, likely to be one of the ones that will get access on the 5th of September. Uh, that's only next week. So it's not that far away, uh, and you'll be able to get in there and uh, and go through some of the things that I've actually been doing or walking through last week, and Nicholas as well at the beginning of last week. So it's pretty exciting. We're pretty close. Uh, I've have been in there today to uh, see if there's any more changes and things like that. Updates, uh, no doubt. There's going to be a ton more before uh, the fifth. Uh, so we're going to have lots of things to play around with inside and uh you know experiment with and uh, obviously you're going to be able to do like email content any text com content like uh, blogs uh you know uh, for ecom or anything like that as well so there's a, a range of things now before i go any further i'm going to actually get uh, nicholas to come on in and i'm going to add him into the mix here hey nicholas how are you I'm great, Peter. How are you? Uh, what an exciting! You're like two hours behind me, so that's uh, you know, it's a, a like midday, isn't it? Just after midday for you. Yeah, just after midday. I had to put the sandwich down, right, and uh, get ready for the <laughs> the live stream. But uh, I can I can have something to eat afterwards. That's if I get a chance to, right? Because I'm pretty excited about what's happening with Groove AI, and I Absolutely. guess uh, pe people are going to have a lot of questions. And I know we've been through the software. Um, the last uh, couple of weeks. We're going to go over some of it again today, I'm sure. But yeah. one of the things that I know a lot of people may be thinking is that what's the difference? Why can't I just use other AI systems? Why is Groove AI the best option for those who want to run AI uh, for their business? Well, the simple answer is this. One dashboard, right? <laughs> one dashboard. Like that's the main one. The, there are a couple of other things. I've been looking at a lot of AI uh, options out there, like most of us have, and I know you have too, Peter, right? And one of the things that I've noticed is that there are certain things that you need to take into consideration, right? So like security, how secure is the system? Uh, what is the, the interface and the platform written in? Which code base is it written in? Is it one of the older technologies or one of the newer technologies? And one of the things I can say very clearly about Groove.ai is that it is written on the most up-to-date code bases. It has one of the best, if not the best interface as far as being able to group all these, AI, all these AIs together into one interface, one place to be able to manage everything. And although we're only starting with text, 
the ability to bring in images and video and audio and all those other options are also coming, right? Because what you've got to realize is that there are multiple platforms out there to do all this different type of work. And as we know, uh, when you get into one of these platforms, especially like chat GPT, right? It's got a peanut for a brain, right? It's not, it, it does just doesn't remember anything. Like after five minutes of communicating with it, it forgets what you started with, what the conversation was in the beginning. And so the integration that we've got with Groove AI is going to actually help people resolve that issue. Uh, and there's a couple of reasons why, because we've got the, the database system set up, right? Where, uh, and someone asked me a question the other day when it comes down to this is that what you want to be able to do is you want to have a system where it can remember like an elephant, what you've put into it, whether it was yesterday, last week, last month, even last year, right? I want to be able to go in there and go, okay, well, what was my campaign that I was running, you know, a couple of weeks ago? Because one of the things you're going to realize is this, when you start running promotions on things, you don't actually get instant data back. Sometimes it can take a few days or a few weeks before you start getting an idea of what campaigns are working. Problem with ChatGPT is I can't find that information out because it doesn't store everything sequentially, right? I can't go back and re-ask it enough questions to validate that. Groove AI is going to allow you to do that, right? So it's really, really important. There's a lot of stuff that people don't understand that, Groove AI is going to deliver to them. And until you get in there and actually see it and start playing with it, then the penny will drop, right? It's, so it's an amazing platform. Uh, I can't wait to for, for all these extra rollouts, right? The idea of being able to click a button and have it write all my sales copy, emails, and not straight away, right? But design my website, create my images, do my videos and with a couple of clicks of a button, push all that into a funnel and a website in groove.cm. That is just, that's absolutely amazing, right? All the things you could do that just takes so much time in development. One of the things you want to be focused on, and most of us understand this, is that when we're dealing with customers, you need to be customer centric focused. And you can't do that if you're spending so much time trying to write emails, develop the website, come up with content. All, all of that takes so much time. And it's time that you cannot get back. And it's time that you cannot devote to working with customers and attaining more customers. If 30, 40, 50% of your time is spent on development, then that leaves less time to actually generate an income, right? And so I know that with Groove AI, that's going to cut that down to like 10% because I know everything's going to be done and it's all going to be in one place. I don't have to jump around from doc to doc to doc. What was my email here in chat GPT and where is my video? And, you know, like just all of this stuff, Peter, as you know, right, we're really, really excited about it. So yeah, let's uh, let's jump into it and just have a look at the actual dashboard and show some people what's going on in here and, and give them some updates on on what's potentially coming for them very very shortly. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and Nicholas, just before I do that, uh, I just want to uh, mention too as well for myself and my business uh, how much of a time saver it has been for me to be able to uh, do blogs, to be able to do uh, e-commerce content uh, for products and services, all those different things. It just saves so much time. And I know that you've uh, been in there, you've played around with it. Uh, I've yep. been in there and I've played around with it as recent as today. But let's jump to the uh, dashboard and this, uh, I'll just share my screen here. So when you get into the dashboard, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see all your projects, your recent projects listed down on the right hand panel there. Uh, and um, you can access them by just clicking on them. Uh, or you can go to projects, and again, you'll have a bit of a more of a gallery view, uh, view if you like. Let's just say now we're going to uh, jump into, uh, say, day four, and just give you a little quick look, just uh, what, uh, what that looks like. If you haven't joined us before, 
then um, then you know you'll be seeing something new so we've got like a panel here on the left hand side we've got a panel in the middle and we've got a panel on the right as Mike Forsane would say this is where you have all your ingredients this is where you put everything together and you come up with a result in here and once you've got that result you can actually edit it in the third panel here before you actually export it and there will be an export feature where you can export it into a google doc uh, but you can still copy and paste it uh, the, the great thing about uh, particularly with the uh, blog post uh, is that it has that feature which is a markdown feature where you can keep the size of the text also if you notice uh, just on the text if you if i highlight that it's automatically been um created as an h1 tag uh, so you know if you know anything about seo having that h1 tag title in your in your uh, blog post or website uh, content is very important because you know it helps google uh, discover you it helps google uh, identify what your website is about now let's just jump out of there and i know i'm, I'm jumping in and out um and in, in terms of like i'm probably going to hit on myself on this but let's just jump out of there for a sec because one of the other important things is, is that, and Nicholas covered this last week uh, at the beginning of the week, is the actual settings. Now, very important. Uh, we go to profile, and in here, what we want to do is we want to enter a service name uh, and uh, what type of service that uh, we will be using. Now, at the moment, it's OpenAI. There will be other services that will be added to this, as well as other models. Uh, as you can see there, ChatGPT 3.5, which is the free version. So if you're on ChatGPT uh, 3.5, uh, you'd be able to use this. Uh, you don't necessarily have to be on a paid version. In fact, correct me if I'm wrong, Nicholas, but uh, Mike has been recommending ChatGPT 3, oh, sorry, GPT 3.5 as a better option because it's a lot more faster. Yeah, so it's it's a lot quicker, right? And one of the things about this is remember that the reason for Chat GPT four was that they started giving options in um, uh, OpenAI to add in plugins for all these different options, right? So that you could get access to uh, websites and links and blogs and and bring all this other content in. But the problem with it still is, is that because it's doing all that it still doesn't remember, right? It still doesn't remember and it's slower to go through the data. One of the things I love about this is that because we can use the GPT 3.5 model, it's actually cheaper. Now, for those of you who don't know, when you purchase Groove.ai, one of the things that you're going to get as a bonus, as a backer, right? Now, that means you've got to buy it in the next few days. After that, you're not going to get this option. So I want to make this very clear. You've got a couple more days. After that, this option that I'm about to talk about will not be available to you. So if you're a backer, then what Mike has said is he's going to give you $100 worth of credits to GPT 3.5. Now, what does that actually mean? Well, it means that you're accessing GPT 3.5's API directly from OpenAI, which means you're getting credits at the cheapest price possible. If you go to GPT now and you go to update to GPT 4, it's costing you 20 bucks a month, right? 20 bucks a month. So five months, there's 100 bucks. Doesn't sound like a lot, but that's not how it works. With OpenAI, you spend 20 bucks a month. And if you don't use it, guess what? No rollover. There is no rollover at all. In other words, you're paying month after month after month after month indefinitely, whether you use those credits or not. With Groove AI, with your first $100 worth of credits, if you don't use them this month, it doesn't matter because whatever you don't use rolls over and inside of the platform in the future if and when you need to buy more credits for any of the services they will roll over saving you potentially thousands of dollars in the long run not only that but let's think about being able to get these credits at a wholesale rate 
rather than paying the retail rate that everybody else is paying. Now, that $100 worth of credits, Peter, as we know, right, depends on whether you're using 3.5 or 4 because you'll get an option to use those credits on either or system. That's the beautiful thing once you have your API for them. At 3.5, what that's going to mean is this, is you're going to be able to write a thousand word email every day, every day. Now, I don't know about you, but I generally don't write thousand word emails, right? I might I might I write a, maybe a hundred words, Peter, right? In most emails, yeah. if, if that. So what I'm about to tell you is really going to blow your mind because a thousand word email every day using chat GPT 3.5 for a century, for a hundred mm. years. That's how much that hundred dollar investment that you're going to get if you become a backer is going to be worth to you. How many emails do you think you could write in a thousand years? Right? Like that's just incredible. And that's a thousand word email every day. We're not going to write that. So remember this is that you'll be able to use the credits. And if you don't use them, they roll over. You're going to save massive amounts of time. You're going to save massive amounts of money. And remember, every API system that you add in, and again, we're starting with open AI, but I want you to think about AIs like MidJourney, right, for images. I want you to think about AIs like maybe Murph. We're reaching out to all these different AI companies to be able to get the integrations in here. That takes a bit of time, which is why we're doing the rollouts in stages, because we need to make sure that all of the text is right First, because what are you going to use text for when it comes to video? Well, we want it to write the text to create the video script so the video API knows what to generate for you when it comes to actual footage, when it comes to creating images with APIs like MidJourney. You need a script, a text script, that MidJourney can follow to create your image. Now, there's nothing worse I go into ChatGPT, I create a fantastic prompt for MidJourney, I go to put it in MidJourney, I get what I want, I want to come back, oh, I can't find it. Where is it in OpenAI, right, in ChatGPT? Where is it? That is not going to be a problem here. And we'll show you in a minute when we go back to the projects, Peter. I'll talk. We'll walk through the process of how they can add in not just the blog post that we show them, but the emails and everything else all in that right-hand mm. side so that everything about that project is in one panel. Why is that important? Well, Groove AI is going to allow you to do this. You write a blog post, fantastic. It'll create you a great blog post. But doesn't it make sense to be able to give Groove AI the information not only about the structure you want for an email, but to tell it, I want you to write an email at this length to these types of people at this age and demographic, all that stuff that's in the far left-hand side, the ingredients as we call it, but then tell it, hey, I want you to write the email about this blog post. Try and get ChatGPT to do that when it can't even remember anything you gave it five minutes ago. Peanut, you know, yeah. gone. When you can consistently write content that is all integrated, that's all relatable, that is directly related to the previous bit of content, do you understand what that does for building up the analogy of what you're trying to push out to the public view? It's consistency. It's absolutely critical, and you cannot do that with any other tool that's out there, which is why we love Groove.ai, right? And it's only just the beginning, Peter. It's just the beginning. No, we're only just scratching the surface. I mean, it, it, it's an amazing, it's an amazing um, uh, platform. Uh, so, like, you know, Nicholas, yeah, we, we'll, we'll go jump into the uh, projects very soon. I'm going to quickly tell, let everybody uh, know. Uh, maybe some have not seen this before, but you do actually have to have 
an API key. All right. Now yeah. you can get that API key from open, uh, uh, sorry, platform.openai.com. All right. Not open AI, um, sorry, not open.ai, but openai.com. So there is a difference in those two um, uh, websites. But yep. platform.openai.com. Uh, when you go there, you will log into your your chat GPT account. And uh, I'm just going to quickly just do this now. Nicholas, wait for a sec. Uh, yep. Get it open. So it's, it's platform.openai.com. AI.com, right? So if, if you want to go there, uh, as Peter brings it up, and basically what you're looking for is how do you get your API key and how do you create it? Yeah. The important thing to remember here is that this process that you're going to go through with OpenAI, as you start building out integrations with other APIs for other programs... <laughs> It's going to be pretty much exactly the same process. It's where do I find the API key and then how do I add it into Groove, right? Yep. Into Groove.ai. So once you get to platform.openai.com, you go into, you log into your, into your account. Now, when you log into your account, you'll get down to there where it says view API keys. Now, if you haven't got one, you create one. A secret, I uh, create a new secret key. Now that would give you an API key that you can use, but you very important. And Nicholas stressed this last week: copy yeah. it and put it somewhere safe on an on on a Word document or on a, a Notepad document, but or text file. But copy it and make sure you 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 store it away where it's safe and no one can access it because you don't want anybody getting your API key. Once you and the other. A thing about it is that you will not be able to go back to this and actually, um, uh, you know, get view to uh, find out to view your API key because mm. once it's actually been saved, the only thing that you can do is actually, uh, you know, rename it. You can't do anything else. You can't view it. You can't view the API key. Uh, and you know, if you do lose it, you're going to have to delete it, and then you're going to have to probably create another one. You can only have up to five API keys in here. By the way. Yeah. So uh, it's limited. Now, once you've got that, you go back to the login there, uh, sorry, into the dashboard, and then you add your API key into here. And once that's in there, you save. And there you go. There's an example down there. That's where it's been saved. Now, the next one I just want to quickly show before we jump back into projects so Nicholas can um, cover what we were talking about before is that we want to create uh, some type of uh, profile, if you like, uh, and when we're uh, using the uh, the projects features, but we want to have a profile in terms of uh, who we're reaching out to, uh, like, and who we want to be like. I guess, what would you call it? Impersonating, Nicholas? Yeah, it's almost it, it's almost like um, who is the target persona? So yeah. a lot of you probably heard this term before in in marketing, right? You create a persona of the target that you're going after. So, you know, um, what is their age? What is their demographic? What what type of language do they speak? What year level do you want to talk to them at? You know, is it a grade school level? Is it a primary school level? Is it a university degree level? Like all of these things, right? You put them in a persona. So this is what these presets are. It allows you to create a preset set of instructions for Groove.ai that says, when I go to write email or blog posts or whatever text content I you want to write, I want you to write it based on this type of preset so that I can reach out to that type of persona, right? It's really important that you get that process down. So the presets are really important. And as yeah. Peter's going to go through this, we start with the act like, right? Who do you want to act like? So let's say we want to act like a blogger. Uh, that we're going to we're going to put that in there. We're going to uh, select act like a blogger. And here, the persona or style, you actually have a range of different people that are uh, excellent at blogging. I mean, a lot of them are very, very uh, well known. Uh, you have Gary V there. You have Tim Ferriss, Neil Patel, Perez Hilton. 
uh, there's yeah, there's a few. There'll probably be more added to as well. I think Mike Phil same as in one of these ones here. Let me just have a quick look. What would he be under? Yeah, I think you'll find it's under direct response and copywriter is Mike. Uh, somewhere down down the list, you scroll. There down. he is. Yeah, Mike yeah. Phil same. There he is. Right. Let's just, let's so this is the other the other thing that people need to realize about this is that um some of these names may be removed and new ones may be added at different times in the future as well, right? Because some of these people uh, are going to reach out to us and say, hey, you know, I really don't want everybody that's got Groove AI being able to write like I do, right? Because, you know, well, I've spent a lot of time learning this stuff and you're just giving it to them for free with AI. That might happen. So, you know, if somebody is removed from a persona style, don't freak out. There'll be somebody else there that's just as good in that same area that you can use. It, it's just a preference, really. That's all it is. You know? Yeah. That, by the way, by the way, there is the possibility. Now, I'm not guaranteeing this, but there is the possibility that one of the persona or styles could be you. Oh, I, so I thought you, were you say can you, create yeah. your own persona style and save it, right? And and build up your own persona, well, which makes sense, right? You want to be able to. This is me. This is how I talk. Right? Well, I think there should be one that's uh, uh, Nicholas McIntosh, you know, because uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can put in there. Anyway, uh, so the target audience now that is the audience, the I guess the industry that you're trying to reach out to. As you can see there, you probably see likely digital marketers so if you're reaching out to digital marketers that could be your target audience uh but the avatar is this it, it's getting a lot more specific now we're niching down and if you can see down the bottom here i've got three different types of profiles uh say for instance i wanted to use that as a uh, avatar generation x uh, men and women entrepreneurs uh who are technophobes and we want to you know we want to reach out to them so that's what i'm going to put in there uh, as Nicholas said before, the reading level, the reading level is like, you know, those are the sorts of people we want to actually reach out to. So we need to be able to, uh, you know, uh, I, I guess, speak to them in a language that they understand that they can follow so that they will be able to, um, you know, uh, be able to uh, really analyze the information you're giving them and actually make a real, better informed decisions. So, I think the 10th and the 12th grade is the one that's actually commonly used uh, in terms of um, trying to reach out to those sorts of people. Rules now. Uh, rules can be things like uh, we don't want the content to have anything that refers to the name click funnels or, you know, anything that's kind of like a competition, I guess, uh, um, in, in the content that we're writing. And custom edition is where you can actually add your own uh, system prompts. Okay, so that's just quickly going through that. Uh, I'm going to jump back into um, the projects there, Nicholas. And yep. if you like, uh, I can, um, I'll go into day four. We've actually got yep. an example there. So we could, you want me to stick with that or do you want me to, to yeah, join no, you? Let's, 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 let's stick with this. Okay. So what we can see is on the left-hand side, right, is all of the ingredients that Peter would use. So he started from the top. So if we start from the top, the first thing was which API model are we using? So he's using OpenAI 3.5. Now you need to visualize this. If and when we get to the process of creating audio or video or something else, you're going to change the model up here, right? So you would click on, if you were doing images in the future, you would change this maybe to the Big Journey API as an example. So you need to select the correct API for the type of job that you want to do. The next thing that Peter's done here is he selected a preset. So you can see he's turned the preset toggle switch on for, to start with. If you don't turn that toggle switch on where it says presets, then you have no presets to select. So you've got to turn that toggle switch on so that Groove AI knows how to access the presets that you've just created. And then you select your preset, right? You can always click on the eye icon like Peter's just done. And what that does is it shows you all of the information that's in that preset. So if you can't remember, oh my, what did I create in that preset? Then you can go in here and 
look at what you've put in here, but it also means you can make minor changes to it as well, right? Or you can just click on the arrow to the right of the preset rather than the eye, and it gives you a drop-down list of all the presets that you've created previously. So you've got two ways to do this. Just select one of the presets or and or view what's in that preset so I know what I put in there, okay? Fantastic. And, of course, that means you can change a preset on the fly. So when you click on that eye icon, as an example, I think we had it set to Mike Phil Same in here, right? Uh, or Neil Patel, you can change it. You can change it to somebody else right now. And just for this output, it would use that particular SEO expert or that particular reading level, right? And one of the things about this, as Peter mentioned, is when you're creating those presets, remember who your target audience is. It's really, really critical to get an understanding of who that is. All right, so what else have we got in here? Well, then we start going through the types of setups we want. So Peter's got it set to default, optimized for default, but we've got it optimized uh, just above there, Peter, above the format. We've got it uh, default, and then oh, we've right. got yes, um, SEO or, or some other options in here, direct response, right? So you need to, again, you need to be thinking about this. Is it a default email? Or is it a direct response-based email? Or is it an SEO-optimized email? Why you'd want an SEO-optimized email, I don't know. But an SEO-optimized blog post would make sense, right? So then we just go through. Now, you can see, you just go through and select all your settings after that. What format do you want? What framework do you want? There's a bunch of stuff in here. And you want to spend some time playing around with this. If you don't know what some of these acronyms are in these frameworks, look them up, right? Google is your friend, right? What is uh, PAS? What is ADA, right? It really tells you underneath what they are anyway. But if you want to dig into it a bit more and find out why are these frameworks so popular, then it'll help you understand why people write within these types of frameworks. So you've got all of this, and if I just move this over here so then you can set the length of it and you, then the style you want the tone you want to use there's all of these things you need to go through now we're not going to go through all of them again but just remember this is like all the ingredients all of the ingredients that are going to help you write the cookbook let's say right we're going to use the ingredients to write the the page for our cookbook now, you can see what Peter's done already in the middle column is he's already written a blog post. So he's got a blog post over here. But as I mentioned earlier, what happens if we want an email now to help us promote that blog post? So he's written the blog post and then he's transferred it over into the far right-hand column. And you can see up the top above the editor, it says new document. So up there, Peter, you should be able to click in that and change that right click on it and edit it can you can you rename it yeah click on rename yeah, drop rename down and then rename yeah rename and just call it blog post right call it blog post okay fantastic enter and that should save it now if you go over to the far right hand side you'll see it's a plus button click on the plus button and let's rename this document let's call it email you can see what's going to happen here, right? You can start to group all of the content together for this entire campaign, this entire marketing campaign. So we've got email. Fantastic. So, yeah, <laughs> there we go. So blog post in the first one and then email in the second one as well. Fantastic. So let's rename this one. Rename it. Did you copy that over? Yeah, I uh, I did it into Spanish. I did that one into Spanish. I'm just going to delete that, and I'm going to start a new one. Yeah, and then that one there, and then we're just going to rename that one to email. Email. Right. So you can you can see what we're doing here, right? We're building out a campaign, and that's what you want to do. Try and do this in ChatGPT. By the way, hang on. I got email on this stripe, and then blog posts in this one, and like as I said before, it's so confusing, right? Groove AI, one dashboard, one integration. Thank you, Mike. Right? Fantastic. Okay. 
So let's go back to all of our ingredients and let's set an email, right? So let's go direct response, yep. So we're, we're writing, and here's the key. We're writing to the same audience that we wrote to with the blog post, right? We're using the same preset, the same API, the same preset. Then we're going to write an email. And let's include a subject line and a preview snippet. Why not? Because we want that at the top of the email. And what framework do we want to use for this email, Peter? Uh, we've got it on normal. Let's change the framework to, let's say, uh, see the product update, feature request, follow up, right? There's so many things, networking, Q&As. Let's just do uh, at the top of the list. What's at the top of that list? There's a problem solution, right? Problem and solution. Why are we going to do a problem and solution? Because the answer to the problem in detail is going to be where? in the blog post and we want an email that goes out with a link in it that says go and read the blog post for more information traffic driving so we're doing multiple things at once try doing that with all the other ai systems that are out there okay so peter i'll leave it to you select a tone a style and a goal okay yes okay let me have a look at this uh, i'm going to uh, engaging and uh, i'm going to get a pick, pick a couple in here actually uh maybe a little bit more descriptive then we're going to go style and i'm going to extend that a bit more and uh we'll go informative let's go to goal i like goals we'll go to goals i want to i want to um, increase uh, conversions and i want to lead generation okay and yeah that's it i've chosen those ones output now mark we'll, down. Just, we'll go with the mark yeah, down. Mark down with you. Yep. Right. Now. So okay. make sure you're on that second tab at the top yep. there because you're on yep. blogs. Yep. So make sure you're there. That that's the key. You've got to be on that tab before you do all the settings, Peter. Yes. Okay. Uh, right. well, we're going there. Uh we're going to just do this all again. Problem and solving. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, well, look how easy it is, everyone, right? Even if you make a mistake, it's just point and click. Try and go, try and remember all of the prompts and what type of prompt <laughs> you would have to create in chat GPT yeah. to get all this. And when you get it right, and then a week later you want to do a follow-up email and it's like, where is that prompt? Oh, my God. Like, it's just a nightmare in chat GPT, right? It, as we said, mine like a peanut, right? The Lenny, the Lenny syndrome. <laughs> oh, all right. So you got it all there. Yep. Yep. Got it all scroll there. Scroll to the bottom. Just scroll to the bottom and we got, right. And then, all right. So you go over to the next thing, right. And the first thing is in here, we just want it to uh, write an email about whatever the blog post is, right. So I don't know. What, what did you title the blog post? Don't change it here. Change it in the far right hand side. Go to blog yeah, post yeah. in the right hand there side. Yep. So just grab that. Grab that title. This is what I do. Just grab the title and then go back and paste it in. Yep. Make sure those two switches are on. Yep. Fantastic. Yep. And then just go. And let's see if it'll write us an email based on this content. Look at that. Look at that. Now we've got a full on email to promote that blog post. Now, once we've got this, just like everything else, right now, this is a long email, thousand word email, Mike said, right? Maybe he's trying to write us a thousand word a email. Long email. Yeah. What what you can <laughs> what you can do is just like we did with the blog post, in the right hand side now, Peter, switch to email. Yeah, and just send it over. Right? Delete that. Yeah, and let's send it over. Now I can edit everything over here to get it ready. Now I have my blog post, my email, and I want you to think about this, ladies and gentlemen. Everything else that you can do now, a whole follow-up series of emails, more blog posts, more engaging content, do all your bullet points, headlines, everything else that we haven't spoken about that you need to do within your marketing, one dashboard with Groove.ai. Simplest thing in the planet. It's going to make your life so much easier.
so much easier. Hey, Peter, did you yeah. notice what I just noticed? We've had uh, we've had someone else pop into the room. Yeah, I know. I, I see him in the backstage there. Mm. Kind of like, um, I don't know. Should, 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 should we let him in? Do you think everybody yeah. would want to see? Well, should we, Nicholas? Should we let him hear in from or? this person? You think so? Yeah. Okay. Well, I maybe think, we should. I think we can let him in. He's got he's got a nice <laughs> smile. It's the man. It's it's the man with the deep. Does he need any introduction? Yeah. Does he need any introduction? Okay. Here we have Ching Yu. Welcome aboard, Ching Yu. Hello, Yay. thank you very much, Peter and Nicholas, for sharing you know such such an amazing run through of the Groove.ai platform. But not only that, it's all about the possibilities for your business. You know, if if you're excited for the future of Groove.ai, type in excited into the chat. And of course, you know, let's let's give a thanks to both Nicholas and uh, Peter uh, for carrying out all of these Groove at Night sessions. You know, I, I've been writing down notes, you know, jotting down notes as they're teaching uh, as well. So thank you very much. All right. So, you know, the, the reason why I hopped on uh, for this session is because we do have a bonus for you. If you would like a bonus, type in bonus into the chat. As you know, with uh, within our Groove.cm community uh, and our expansion projects, we're constantly looking at ways to uh, uh, help you advance in the age of AI. But more importantly, with all of these AI tools, all of these AI skills, how do you monetize it? Right, like today, uh, both Peter and Nicholas has shared with you how is it that you can create blogs, how is it that you can create emails, and in the future pipeline of Groove.ai, it's images and videos as well. If you would love to monetize, type in monetize into the chat because we do have an exciting online training uh, com coming up. If you go to groovecm resources, um, I'll type. Uh, post it into the chats and comments. You can go to groove.cm slash resources. And then if you look at, uh, at re uh, the second tab over there, you will be able to see there's an AI Marketing Insider Secrets tab, okay? It's an AI Marketing... In, uh, uh, let's see. Let me just bring this up. Boom. Okay, easier for all of you to see. Okay, so... Um, let me bring it up here. Thank you, Nick. <laughs> All right. So over here, you will see uh, groove.cm slash resources. Uh, over here, we've got our events calendar. Right uh, in in our events calendar, you'll be able to see all of our upcoming events, uh, both uh, sponsored and uh, paid events uh, are all on this cap uh, ca uh, on this calendar. But what I want to direct your attention to is to this AI marketing insider secrets. Discover how to make the most of your Groove AI lifetime account with additional training on AI marketing designed to help you monetize your new backup platform. Click on Unlock Groove AI Marketing, and then this is where you will be uh, drawn uh, to this page. The, the next training will be on September 7th. Uh, that's 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. Uh, Eastern or 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, 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 Pacific. Um, so, you know, if you like that training where uh, together with uh, me and, uh, of course, the Google Insider himself, Simon, will be sharing with you the exact tips, exact strategies from, you know, Simon's uh, 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 over two decades of experience in internet uh, marketing to share with you now with the age of AI, how you can potentially uh, Im immediately build out your uh, digital marketing empire. So if you're excited for that, go to groove.cm slash resources and then uh, head on over to AI Marketing Insider Secrets. It's going to be an exciting session, so don't uh, miss out on it, right? So uh, thank you very much, uh, Peter and Nick, for uh, having me on. Uh, I do need to hop off to our small group coaching session right now. So uh, I'll pass the ball back to the both of you. Thanks, Jing Yu. There you go, Thank everyone. You. Uh, fantastic, fantastic bonus. So make sure you go and jump on that because one of the things you're going to want to understand is <clears throat> not just the tool, Groove.ai, right? It's not just about the tool. It's understanding processes and procedures and what you need to do to be able to get the information and then how to put it into the correct sequence to be able to monetize it. And of course, that's what 
Ching Yu and Simon are going to go through is giving you the knowledge that you need to empower yourself, which in turn empowers your business to bring in more clients. And don't we all want more of those, right? We all want more clients so we can make some more money because that's what it's about. But most importantly, it's not just about making money. There's no point in making a million bucks if you've got to spend a million bucks to make a million bucks because then what, what, what money have you made? Nothing, right? You need to make sure that you're thinking about how do you save money on the bottom line of your business and that is all about the resources that you choose to use to generate all of the content for your business. And Groove AI is one of those platforms that's just going to save you, as I say, a mozza, right? A mozza, right? Save you lots of moolah, lots of money. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, Nicholas. Look, I'm really looking forward for, for this to roll out. I'm looking forward to all the, the, the updates that are going to be following it. Uh, it's going to be an amazing for my business. I know it's going to be just as amazing for yours and everybody else who's going to who's in the backup program. And as uh, Nicholas said earlier, you got to get in. You've only got a few more days. Get yourself in there, and uh, at least you can secure as a lifetime backer because that's the most important thing. Is that if you if you buy this once, then you don't have to pay a subscription because it will it will go to a subscription based. Uh, uh, platform, uh, there may be opportunities to buy a lifetime bagger, but it'd be a lot more than what we're uh, what they're charging now, or what they what the fee is now. So, uh, you know, you got two days. Think about it. Go there. Uh, I'm just going to bring this up. Actually, uh, where are we? Bring up the website. I was going to say while you're doing that, Peter, let's um, yeah. let's have a listen to Mike for a couple of minutes and just see what Mike's got to say oh, yeah, about sure. it. Because yeah. um, yeah. you know, we've we've got a video we can play. So let's just play this video from Mike because it might answer some of the questions you've got in regards to how the backer program works. So let's get Hi, this up. It's Mike Philsames AI Avatar. Thanks for tuning in to our Groovathon. We hope you're enjoying all of the great AI content we're serving up for you. But before we get back to the show, we've got a quick message about the Groove.ai backup project. So let me ask you this. Are you sick and tired of spending countless hours creating content for your website, social media, and email marketing campaigns? Do you struggle with writer's block and finding the right words to express your ideas or blank page syndrome? Then you're going to love AI. It's the revolutionary tech that is in AI-powered content creation platforms that solve these problems and more. In fact, we used it for almost every content we used in this campaign, including the script for this video. But did you catch that problem? I said platforms. It's like this. Sadly, AI is becoming like streaming platforms. Remember when cutting the cord with cable companies was all the rage? Well, now there's a dozen streaming platforms and the cost can add up quickly. The same is happening with AI. There are a lot of great platforms out there, but the cost could be as high as $4,000 a month or more to do what we've been doing in this promotion. And trust me, we will make a hundred times the ROI, but why pay $4,000 a month when you could pay one time for AI and own it for life? Imagine this, what if you could have a lifetime deal on all of your streaming platforms for the price of just one month? Are you starting to see it? That's right. That's why we created Groove.ai. It's a backer project backed by people like you that later this year will provide you with the best AI solutions at a fraction of the cost. The question is not, will you be using AI? With Groove.ai, you can create unlimited high quality engaging content in minutes, not hours. Whether you need headlines or great bullets, or website copy or funnel copy, landing page copy or webinar registration copy, or those email subject lines that get three times the open rates that you're getting right now. Or how about quality emails that get two times the click-through rates because they're not the same boring old emails. When it's easier, you're more productive. When it's better quality, you make more money. It's just like how we used AI in this campaign you're part of right now. We used it for our landing page, webinar registration page, copy on a replay page. And when we put AI generated copy underneath the webinar replay video, it doubled our conversions. In fact, we used AI to get you onto this live stream. AI was used to create the script for this video that you're watching right now. And AI was used on our checkout page to get more than 500 people to back this project. People just like you. But the content won't stop there. 
You'll be able to use it for blog posts, social media captions, product descriptions, email newsletters, reports, books, articles, you name it. Groove.ai will have you covered. Plus, it'll have advanced features like keyword tools and SEO tools. So what does this mean for you? It means you can finally focus on growing your business and serving your customers instead of being stuck at your desk, struggling to come up with the perfect words. AI is like a calculator for words. It's literally like having the assistance of an all-knowing being to help you with anything that you need. With Groove.ai, you'll have more time, more creativity, and more peace of mind. But here's the thing. We need your help to take this product to the next level. And by backing our project, you'll not only get early access to Groove.ai, but you'll also get lifetime access to the platform for a one-time price instead of paying annually or monthly. Sidebar, Your Honor, here's a fun fact. We did the same thing, a backer project for Groove.cm. When we did that project, we started with a lifetime offer of just $1,397. And that's $500 more than you're going to be paying here today. But we didn't stop there. We kept telling people we were going to raise the price. And we did to $1,497, then $1,997, then $2,497. And today, it costs $3,997 to get lifetime access to the Groove.cm account. And people pay for it every day because people like lifetime deals. They're great. But we warned everyone with Groove.cm that the price was going to be going up. But some people love the punishment of paying more. But not you. You realize that this is the lowest price we will ever offer, and since it's a lifetime deal, you're strongly considering doing what over 500 people have already done. So why not join them? Want to know a little bit more about Groove.ai? Sure. Let's take a closer look at some of the key features of Groove.ai. Our platform uses AI to create engaging, high-converting copy in seconds. No more writer's block or endless hours copywriting. Let Groove.ai do all the heavy lifting for you. But that's just the beginning. With Groove.ai, you'll be able to create content at the speed of thought. When the software is released very soon, here are just some of the things you can do 10 times faster. Groove.ai features a chatbot assistant that integrates with ChatGPT. So it's not just a boring blog wizard. You're going to be able to craft it the way that you want. Let's not forget about our Chrome extension we're going to have. You can extend Groove.ai anywhere that you can type. Simply use the magic prompt and enter your wish. When you hit enter, Groove.ai will start typing whatever you requested wherever you requested it. This can be used to write copy anywhere for subject lines inside your marketing email builder in Gmail or to write a blog with Grooveblog or WordPress, product descriptions in Shopify or Groovecart, website and funnel copy bullets and so much more. It's literally Groove.ai content on the go. We will have a meeting and content summary. Just upload any audio or video and easily transcribe meetings or videos from multiple sources, including video conferencing apps like Zoom or any audio file you have. You can review a one hour meeting in just five minutes. With just one click, you can get access to your meetings, action items, tasks, questions, and other key metrics. You can get summaries and TLDRs at your fingertips. And weeks, months, or years later, you can search any text for any keyword from any meeting in your company with ease. But our most coveted feature is this. You'll be able to build landing pages and funnels in minutes with Groove.ai's magic website and funnel builder. That's right. It will build all of the pages. You simply tell Groove about your business and it will build all of the pages, all of the copy, all of the images, title tags, and optimize it for SEO. And you can even export those pages to Groove pages. So say goodbye to the need for web development, design experience, or even a copywriter. When you're done, export them to Groove pages in Groove.cm to edit, publish, and save. And check this out for your company support. You're going to be able to train Groove.ai with your support articles from your current help desk. And then you can add a support AI widget to your site to do better support than even your best support agents. Yes, the future is here. And you're going to be able to easily create high quality images and graphics for your campaign, saving you time and money on professional design services. You'll be able to quickly and easily generate high quality images and graphics for your campaigns without the need of a professional designer, saving you time and money. Better images increase conversion rates. So here's what makes Groove.ai different. First, it consolidates all those other good but expensive AI companies into one, saving you money. Second is that you can use your own free API key that you get from OpenAI and Google. Unlike companies like Jasper.ai and Copy.ai, Group.ai is not locked into only one AI company like OpenAI. Although OpenAI is the talk of the town right now with Dolly for images, Whisper for voice to text and text to voice, ChatGPT, but recently Google just announced their API and the AI wars are on, but we use them all. And this is gonna allow us to be more expansive and flexible than the competition while offering a no compromise solution, all at wholesale rates. You heard that right. With Group.ai, we don't charge you for AI 
API. Instead, you connect your free API with companies like Google, OpenAI, Stability.ai, and more. This means you don't pay monthly for AI you're not using. And since you're paying directly to the source and not us, you're saving three times to six times the retail markup compared to companies like Jasper.ai. The other guys charge you for monthly tokens even if you don't use them, and they don't offer rollover credits. Groove.ai can save you thousands per year compared to the other leading AI companies. And finally, what makes us different is Groove.ai is a marketplace. Yes, we're making a marketplace for other AI developers to create cool apps. Don't find the task or workflow for your needs? There's a marketplace where others are extending our platform with powerful AI tools. You've seen how marketplaces extend the value of technology with things like the Apple iPhone, Android, WordPress, Google Chrome, and Shopify. Groove.ai will allow AI developers to market their apps in our marketplace. The bottom line, that's better for you. But before we wrap up, we want to make a special offer to you. We need your help. As a thank you for supporting us and backing our project, we're offering a special lifetime deal for Groove.ai. That means you can get access to our groundbreaking AI platform later this year for a one-time payment of just $897 or just two payments of $497 instead of paying the regular price of $99 a month or $997 annually. Oh, and here's something special for all paid or lifetime Groove.cm customers who back our project before we close you'll get a massive bonus of 3.75 million words of free AI content. That's the equivalent of getting 3,500 free emails with 1,000 words each, or the ability to create one 1,000 word email every single day for a decade. Don't miss out on this incredible bonus. Act fast and become a backer of Groove.ai today. But don't wait too long. The lifetime deal is only available for a limited time. Once we close this backer project, the lifetime deal will be gone forever. After that, it will cost $99 a month or $9.97 a year. So if you want to take advantage of this incredible opportunity and save big on your AI needs, become a backer of Groove.ai today before it's too late. Don't wait. Join the community of over 500 people that have already backed this project and be the first to experience the power of AI when it's released later this year. Go to Groove.ai forward slash backer right now. Groove.ai forward slash backer. So now let's get back to the AI Week Groovathon with the real Mike Filsame. Now get ready for the power power of Groove AI, become a backer of Groove today. Oh, okay. Wow, well, that says it all, <laughs> doesn't it, Peter? Yeah, Although you're not back with the real Mike, you're real back with the real Peter and the real Nicholas, right? And <laughs> Mike, Mike's, Mike's asleep at the moment. So. Pretty exciting stuff. Pretty exciting stuff. I can't wait. I can't wait till it all rolls out and uh, we get um, really get in there and get busy with it. Uh, so just um, before we leave, uh, we're going to go to the uh, actual uh, the Groove.ai backer um, payment uh, page. I'm just going to add. And when you get there, this is what you're going to see, okay, uh, down the bottom. When you get to this part down the towards the bottom of the page, there you'll see that there's the, the sign up form, and you can actually um, uh, pay for it uh, as Mike said, eight ninety seven, or you can select the Groove.ai Platinum member, which is four ninety. Uh, sorry, the two payment uh, option, which is four ninety seven over two months. Uh, now, just in this box here, now. You know, like Nicholas, can you you want to just explain what this is really about? I mean, because at, at the end of the day, a lot of people will be wondering, what is your own your own AI uh, SaaS company? Okay, yeah, well, this is exciting too. So, if you're looking at the option here of owning your own SaaS company, what we're talking about is being able to have a copy of Groove.ai branded with your own company name. In other words, you get a copy of Groove.ai, but it would be running on your own domain name, branded with your own colors, your own company logo, so it is yours, right? It's a, basically a white label version of Groove.ai, so you have your own SaaS company. But here's the best thing. If you tick this little box when you make the purchase, you'll see that you actually don't make any payments for this until January next year, January 2024. So the thing about this is, though, it's a software business, and which means that there are costs involved. So if you take this offer come January 
you'll be paying an additional $497 every month for having your own software company. But I want you to think about this. How much time, effort, and money do you think it would cost to develop a platform like this if you had to go out and pay for all the developers and the software to be built and the servers to run it on? Uh, 497 is a joke, Peter, right? It's just oh, a joke. Uh, let's put this into context, uh, uh, Nicholas. It literally mm. costs like 10, well, probably, you know, I, I think 10K a minimum would be what you would pay for your own, you know, development staff and, and all those sorts of people, a team of people, then you're going to get that for 497 every month. I mean, it just, it's, a, it's, a, it's just a, a huge amount of saving. And, of course, yep. it's your own white label. It's your own SaaS company. Which means you don't have to deal with support. You don't have to deal with payments. You don't have to deal with upgrades. All yes. of that is also included with that 497 a month, right? So everything, all you've got to do is literally promote your website, promote your SaaS business. And I wonder how you're going to be able to do that. Well, <laughs> you got to use Groove AI itself, right? to actually promote your own SaaS company. So it's a really, it's a no brainer, but there is a cap on this. Once we get to a thousand maximum, that's it. No more. And I can tell you now they're already up above the 800 plus mark on this, right? So if you're really looking at doing this, you need to act fast because there's not many left. Now, here's the other thing right down the bottom. Before you hit the complete purchase button, if you want to scroll down a little bit more, Peter, I don't think, right? So, no, yep, just there. There's a little yeah. offer right here, right? So let's talk about this. Let's see if it's available. I think we've turned it on. Yes. So, yes, it's on. So right now, right now as we speak, if you want to get a copy of Groove.ai, you can do it right now for free. Four monthly payments of 250 bucks. So if the 897 is not available to you or the 497 times two, you, you don't have that in your account, 250 bucks a month for the next four months. And here's the best thing. You're going to make this first payment today because you're going to do it today. We know you're, do, gonna, you're doing it right now, right? You're going straight there right now. You're going to do it today. You're going to get access to this software between the 5th and the 8th of next month. So it's only a few days away. So basically, you're going to make one payment of 250 bucks, and you're going to get access to it before you even make the next three payments, which means you're going to have the tools you need to promote any products or services that you want to promote to generate the income to pay for it. This is what we talk about when we talk about buying tools that are assets that are income producing. And Groove.ai is one of those tools you want to get your hands on. Well, Nicholas, look, I mean, this has been such a full, uh, well, it's been just over an hour and uh, so much there uh, to uh, to look forward to. Yeah, as Nicholas said, you've got to get in today. Get in now. Uh, there's, I, I saw the, the countdown clock was, was about two two days and uh, I think about maybe six hours or something like that. But, you Not know, long. it's counting down. We haven't got far to go. Midnight Thursday is when it cuts off. And then after that, yeah, you won't have access to that lifetime uh, that lifetime deal. And, of course, like Nicholas said, four payments of 250 Happy hours on. So take advantage of it. Well, Nicholas, I thank you so much for joining me today. And um, if Ching Yu is uh, listening on, in on this, thank you, Ching Yu, for being here. Uh, and thank you to everybody in, in the chat there uh, being quite active uh, and particularly thinking – uh, yourself and myself, uh, Nicholas, for uh, for today's uh, crew <laughs> at night. Uh, there could be more, so uh, we may be uh, back uh, back here again in the next day or so. So uh, keep an eye out on your notifications on the in the Facebook group as well as on the YouTube notifications as well. But until then, thanks for being with us. And until next time, goodbye. Bye, everyone.